Hi, I'm Ryan Brath for Golf WRX, and today I am taking you underneath the hood of the all new TaylorMade Sin 2 driver. Now I have in front of me all the components that actually make up the total driver head, and I'm gonna explain how they work together to create the performance as far as stability and creating ball speed with the Sim 2. So let's start from the top down and the carbon composite crown. Now the carbon composite crown is not new for TaylorMade. In fact, they've been using it in their drivers for a number of years now, but it's still a key component to the performance of their golf clubs. And this carbon composite crown is six layers and only weighs just over 10 grams. Now when you factor in 10 grams to the overall driver head's total mass, that is just under 5%. So that means that the other 95% is positioned around the club head and it's not high up in the driver to increase spin and reduce MOI. Now, speaking of top to bottom, next up we have something that is totally new with the Sim 2 and that is the carbon composite sole panel. The crown, six layers. The sole, nine layers. And this piece only weighs 12 grams. So when you add these two up, you're talking just around 10% of the driver head's overall total mass in the top and bottom in two of the largest sections of service area of this driver. That means the other 90% are be, being able to position around the club head by the engineers to create that low spin performance and also create stability, which means when you happen to miss it around the club face, which inevitably is going to happen, you're going to get drives that still go longer and straighter. And we talk about saving mass. We talked about the, uh, the crown, the sole. This is one of the big ones. And this is the forged aluminum back ring of the TaylorMade Sim 2. It not only is completely CNC milled for precision as far as weighting and removing weight from areas where it's not really needed, but it also houses the inertia generator, which was a key part of the original Sim's design to help keep the center of gravity low and offer low spin performance, which is something the Sim was very well known for. Now, because they've been able to save mass from all over the club head, the inertia generator part of this is heavier. So we have a component that is um, heavier at the back of the driver, away from the club face. That means higher MOI and greater stability. And we've got all of that here in the first three components. But how do we create ball speed and how do we retain it and how do we keep those drives as straight as possible? That's where the club face part of this driver comes in and there is a lot going on. The first thing is twist face. It's been a part of TaylorMade drivers for a while now, and what that does is it helps normalize spin when hit around the face, and also being, brings drivers or being, brings shots back thanks to gear effect. Now there is one thing that's actually noticeably missing from the face of the Sim 2 compared to the Sim 1 and some other previous drivers, and that is the speed injection ports. There used to be two little things right here on the front of the club head and they are gone. Instead, they've been replaced by one out on the toe. Now they've gone from two to one. Normally you'd think you know, that's going backwards, but in fact, as always, they're moving forward. By being able to eliminate one of the reservoirs in the head, that's additional mass that has been saved, and by having just one here, they are still able to optimize the CT of every single driver that comes off the line by fine tuning that through the speed injection port and working with the club face, which has now been CNC precision milled. The inverted cone technology, which is another part of TaylorMade drivers for a long period of time, has always been there, but now for the first time ever in the Sim 2, it is CNC milled into the back of the club face for that extra precision and optimizing each part of the driver for COR and CT. They do measure both. The USGA is only measuring the CT, and the COR is just another measurement that they're able to use around the face to make sure that the club head is optimized and each and every single one is as close to the limit as it possibly can get. Now there's another thing missing, and this is an important one. There is no more sliding weight in the standard model. Instead, it has been replaced with one adjustable weight from factory, which allows through fitting and custom ordering to make sure that you're able to dial in your swing weight. Those movable weight parts are great for adjusting center of gravity, but they do have the housing of that weight takes up a lot of mass. And by eliminating that, 
you've got added stability and additional customization. So if you wanna play a shorter driver or a longer driver to help pick up a little extra club head speed, you can do that and dial in the swing weight that you want just for you. And there we have it. From top to bottom, from back to front, this is under the hood of the all new TaylorMade Sim 2 driver. I'm Ryan Brath for Golf WRX, and as always, thanks for watching.